Okay, here is the new Gaggia Classic 2023 model. As you can see, it looks very, very similar to uh, the previous model. So on the right here is the 2019 version. Obviously, it's got a, a PID and dimmer uh, attached to that and the pressure gauge, uh, one I've already modded. Um, but here is the, um, the new 2023. The box is exactly the same. The only kind of difference is uh, you can see here it says Classic Evo Pro, uh, the Evolution, uh, I imagine. Um, so what I'm going to do now is open it up and see what differences there are. As you can see from the front, uh, there are no differences. The button, buttons are all the same, uh, the lid. So as far as this point, there is no noticeable difference apart from you might be able to see. And it does mention this. There is an improved group head here uh, compared with the old one and I will dig in inside this so there is the, the classic pro 2019 as opposed to the classic pro 2023 so just a few little bits in there that I'll go and investigate for you in a moment okay the good news for the people that uh, modify these machines uh, is the inside looks pretty much identical. We've got the OPV here, which this is where you uh, install the nine bar spring or six bar spring, whichever one you want to do. Uh, the switches are all the same down here. We've got the same pump. Um, in fact, everything looks the same apart from right down at the bottom there you'll see the group head you can see here it's golden whereas before that wasn't the case so i'm going to open this up and see what's inside now so we've got the solenoid still the same so the, exactly the same solenoid so and they talk about inside here is where all the changes are um it talks about having an improved um protection inside the boiler and also a new different type of group head uh, that's one easier to service and get at and access but also improvements within it. Another new feature that I have noticed is this silver plate here. This wasn't in the uh, 2019 version so that's what the group head sits in uh, and as you'll see it's all connected from here all the way through to where the pump sits on it on as well so uh, hopefully that will give that a little bit more protection noise dampening as well um, and yes all the pump and everything sits on top of that little plate uh, so now I'm going to go and show you the, uh, the group head okay so here we have the group head so as you can see this is different uh, the shape and the size is exactly the same, so old ones will actually still connect to this one. Um, the boiler is exactly the same size, but you can see the group head here is now, it's got rid of the coating. Um, before it had a, a chrome plate coating that eventually wore off. So obviously this now will not uh, wear off and uh, from the basis of the machine, though, you'll still see the silver. So as I showed you earlier, it's got a silver plate uh, here that you will see. But it's obviously underneath that is where uh, you will see the, uh, the new brass plate. So we're now going to take this apart and see what's inside. Okay, here we have the... Um... The boiler. So this is the boiler and group head from the pre-2015 and the old Pro. Uh, so the Pro made from about 2017 all the way to 2022. And as you can see, it's got a, um, a, a coating here that protects the inside of the boiler. And you'll see the group head, uh, which in the new Pros are stained. Well, well they're, they're brass but they've got a chrome plating and they've gone away with the away from the chrome pl plating now because the chrome plating one it wears off on the new pros and also as well it is uh, certainly not good for the environment and it's harmful for those people making it um and then in the new 
Pro 2023, you can see here we've now got a solid brass um, that's not going to now peel away and wear away anywhere. Uh, you will not see this outer coating because, as, as I mentioned earlier, inside the Classic Pro, it's got that silver um, layer that, um, that will hide the group head now. Uh, but there is the group head. The size of the boiler are identical, the same shape, so they can be intercha interchanged uh, pretty easily. Um, let me use a new one there rather than the old one. Uh, so that's an old, uh, old boiler. And you can see the new one there. This has got a non-stick coating that's meant to last a lot longer. And obviously, hopefully, all that lime scale, it will not stick to there, unlike the old ones. As you can see, a previous one that I've cleaned out, um, you know, trying to get the scale off that is pretty, uh, pretty hard. Um, so we will see how the new one fares. But it's, in tests that Gallery have made, the, uh, you know, it is far, far superior, far longer lasting, far more protective inside the boiler. Lastly, um, the shower screen is still the same. Many keep these. Uh, as they are, uh, some people upgrade to the IMS ones, uh, but they are the same, pretty much the same as the previous one. But the last little uh, improvement here, now this is one of the old um, pre-2015 or pro-2019 models, uh, and you can see they are lightweight, they're grubby, they don't maintain their heat well, and they don't last that, 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 that long either. They do wear out. Uh, whereas in the new Pro, they've now upgraded this to the solid steel, stainless steel group head. The weight of this is probably about 10 times the weight of that. So it's going to retain that heat far, far more. It's also, uh, in 10 years time, you'll probably open this up and give it a clean and it will come out looking like this. Um, so it's going to far longer lasting. It's going to enhance the heat uh, as water comes through the jets, the holes here. Um, you know, this is going to warm up and retain that heat far, far longer than the old ones here. Most people upgrading uh, the classic pros um, or in the old machines tend to always go for a brass or a stainless steel dispersion plate. And now we've got the solid brass group head here as well, which uh, will conduct that heat very, very well also. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, the new upgraded pro 2023 so regarding compatibility absolutely fine so we're all pleased about that however um we've now got the upgrades there moving forward 2023